I'm going to upgrade this uh, brushless boat um, from 6S to 12S. I want it going faster, um, not a little bit faster, I want it a lot faster. So that means I've got to change everything. Um, so there's four parts to uh, any brushless system. ESC, speed controller, um, your battery, motor, and prop. So I've got a, a 200 amp speed controller in there now. Um, if you're going to upgrade, do an upgrade like that or any upgrade really, you you make got to make sure your speed controller is going to be more than enough to handle it. So that's a no-brainer for me. I'm going to change that to a 300 amp uh, ZTW. I know I'm not going to have any problems with that. That's an easy one. Uh, the battery, I know I want to go to 12S, so that's real easy as well. Uh, then we go to the motor and prop. That's a little bit more involved. Um, to, the motors are all governed by KV, which is... Um, RPM per volt. A um, a 12 s system, you've got to work out what your voltage is going to be uh, at the end. So 12 s, um, it's 12 s means 12 cells. It's 4.2 volt per cell, but when it's loaded up, it's actually not 4.2. Um, that's the fully charged voltage. It's like when you when you bring your brushless boat in and your speed controller is set at 3.2 volts um, for this lipo safety cut uh, and the boat slows down so you bring it in you check your battery and it's showing 3.8 per cell and that's because unloaded it's uh, up on 3.8 but when it's loaded it was down to 3.2 so the the 4.2 volt is not the volt you work at to work out your kv um, it's around 3.9 to 4 so we call it four volts. It's uh, 12 cells times four. We've got 48 volts to play with. So we're gonna, gonna run one of these big style motors, 56 or, or 58 mil motor. And these um, work best between 25 and 30,000 revs. Don't worry what the, you know, the the specs say where you know might say higher than that 40 or 50,000 that's not the that's not the rpm that it will live at you want it to be around 25 to 30 so this one for example what is this this is 490 so you would times 490 by 48 volts to find out your rpm uh, I'll, and i'll get a calculator and tell you what that is Okay, so that works out to, what we say, 490 uh, times your voltage. That works out to 23,000 RPM, so it's a bit low. If I go with about 600, it's going to be a lot closer to what I want. 600 times for 48 volts, there you go, 2880. So 28,800 is, in theory, the loaded up voltage. So now I know what motor I'm going to choose. Um, the propeller is the mystery to most people and that's a little bit of trial and error so there's two ways to do that um, some people quite often will change a gas boat to electric so they've got a prop and that's all they've got so you can work you can just work around that if you want so if you know what voltage you want to run um, choose your speed controller um, you figure you figured out how to do the motor now um, you would just do your testing so, but you wouldn't just put the big gas prop on 12s and and test it like that the first time um, you would run it on 6s say check your temperatures uh, after you know one or two quick runs uh, if everything's nice and cool then you try it on 8s if on 8s it's okay you go up to 10s so when I say check your temperatures, um, I don't just mean the motor or the speed controller. Yeah, you want to check your batteries. Uh, 
and you want to check the wires between the motor and speed controller and the ones going to the battery uh, and make sure you can hold your hand on everything uh, with the with the motor itself um, make sure you're, you're holding or you're testing the the front of the motor or the back of the motor with your hands not just where the cooling jacket is same with the speed controller so i don't like the i think the temperature is too hot if you can't put your hand on something and keep holding it if it's if it's gonna you know burn your fingers you know after whatever time you know it's it's definitely on the warm side probably more than what i would like uh, some people will use a five second rule ten second rule um, some people will use um, thermometers um, but that's just the way i do it i just like to keep things safe um, i suppose if you're going to do like you know just a, a one-off youtube video where you're going to floor it once and get a top speed well you know that's up to you then your sort of temperatures are kind of out the window but i'm just talking about uh setting up a boat that's going to be reliable and safe uh, none of the temperatures should be too hot to hold the other way uh, to find out what prop you're going to use and an easier way but it only works if you've got a selection of props um, is what i'm going to do with this so i'm going to set this up on 12s i'm going to put 12s batteries in it and i'm going to put the smallest possible prop on there that i've access to this is a quarter inch shaft so they don't make real small props from the smallest we can get i think it's a 52 mil two blade so i'll run that um, and if everything comes back and it's ice cold um, you know i'll skip the next one the next one's 55 i'll just go to a 57 uh, and and see what it's like on that if everything's still cold you know then i'll just step it up a bit more so that's a simple way to check uh, or to find out what prop you're going to use for um, to combine you know with the other parts of the system so some people may disagree with how i do it i don't know maybe there's another way i don't know about but i've been doing this since before um, brushless systems were were fast so um, I'm, I'm still learning every day 